it's thundering, it's lightning, it's drizzling. I gotta make this quick before I get rained out. Today we're gonna do a video on how to improve your punches. <laughs> Good save. <laughs> Using a towel. Using a towel, which I'm gonna need in a minute because I'm about to get soaked. Let's take a look at the first drill. All right, first drill I've been practicing since my high school days, baby. I would tighten up the straps and then slip my thumbs into the loops because I noticed that it kept my arms in a perfect 90 degree bend for practicing my hooks and my uppercuts. We can do the same exact thing with a towel. All we're gonna do is just loop it around the back of us, grabbing either end. We're gonna keep it tight so that it keeps our arms in that 90 degree bend. And this is where we can practice throwing our uppercuts, our hook punches, even shoe shine, repping them out, orthodox, southpaw. We can work in inside fighting going underneath of shots, working our evasions. We can work our blocks, our defense, our high guard, our pillaring. Give it a try, grab hold of either end of the towel, put it around your back, work those hooks, work those uppercuts. Next, we're gonna work on the straight punches. You may have heard the expression, whip the towel, when throwing the jab. And Tyson Fury is someone to watch, where you can see his arm literally loops, the, the wrist will bend like this, and then he'll snap out that wrist at the last second and make contact. And I like practicing that motion by literally whipping the towel. And you're noticing too that I'm also getting my foot in there. I'm eating that pro probing step where I'm stepping forward like I would on the jab, bang, whipping it out, staying loose, tensing up at the point of impact so that it is a hard impact. I got the tight forearm, tightened lat, and then I pull it right back and I sink up the hand and the foot. So again, see if I can get that whip. and then do a couple times without the towel. Upside. Let's move on to number three, which is gonna help more with conditioning. You're gonna laugh when I show you this drill until you try it, and then you're gonna be like, holy crap, that's pretty hard. And this one, I'll be honest with you, I learned this one not from, not from an old boxing trainer, not from any book, but I learned this because our fire detector, our smoke detector was very sensitive in our previous home. And I'd often have to grab a towel and air the smoke away. And after about 20 reps of this, my shoulders were on fire. So this is what I recommend you do as fast, as hard as you can. Try to get that whip of the towel and blow the wind. And do that for two minutes straight. Your forearms, and your shoulders will be on fire, which is gonna help great with muscle endurance to be able to keep your hands up in a fight and throwing punches throughout the fight. All right, guys, there you have it. Grab a towel and work your uppercuts, your hooks, whip the towel for a nice snappy jab, and then work the conditioning for the forearms and the shoulders. And another thing that I want you to keep in mind when doing this is pay attention to the connection point of your thumb and your index finger. That thumb pressure there is really gonna help with the integrity of the wrist and the structure of the hand so that you do have a hard impact on your shots. And by doing these towel exercises, you'll be able to develop that. All right, uh, check out fighttips.com, links in the description below so you can get access to all of our courses as well as our exclusive network on there. It's a network of fighters, enthusiasts, coaches. If you're a fan of martial arts, if you're a fighter or an aspiring fighter, it's the place for you. We have a two week free trial link in the description below for premium members. And if you just wanna get access to the community, we have a three day free trial on there. So check it out, links in the description below. And also we just dropped some new fight gear, check this out. The new Wolf and Sheep's clothing just dropped. Links in the description below. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the Underdogs. Sorry.